Hey Crafty Angels, so that's it here from Angel Rose Designs here on YouTube. And I'm here with day 25 of the No New November Junk Journal Challenge. And this has been uh, a real pleasure to work with Mrs. Gigi to do this. I've had so much fun building my very first junk journal. And today we're going to be working with cutoff paper or paper cutoffs to make a mini notebook. So let me move this on out of our way. Put my number over there and bring in these little puppies here. Here is a um, packaging uh, piece here. It came from a package that I got for something that I bought at uh, Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to do is take, this is a printable from Decorate Your Life that I, you know, used on another project, but I had the extra left. So... Um, I'm going to get my book started by doing, my pages I should say, by doing it this way, don't mind that. <laughs> so, it's going to be a tiny book, so I'm going to cut the extra off, and then, there we go, put that to the side, and get this all said and done. So we're going to take this piece here and we're going to measure it with this piece and trim it right down, right down here. So we have it and when you fold it like so, it'll fit right in your little notebook here. Okay. I also have some cut off paper pages that I was made using for my junk journal so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna take this piece here whoops measure it with this get my little quill clips that's been very very handy for me one on this side I have a whole drawer of them let me tell you and then some and one right there so let me see that's enough pages for me I don't want to overdo it with the cutting too many at one time that's those and we'll take these all together make sure they're all even again and take our little template here one here and one whoops that's a little off there and one there so now we're gonna cut these like that like a lot and come there and do that take this out of the way put that in our recycle now what I'm gonna do here is this I'm gonna make it look like a tiny junk journal for a notebook okay so I have these two and all of these so I want to add in some of this I'm gonna take this this is not cut straight I might have to do some more cutting guys because it's not straight this is not either there Put that to the side, come this way, and trim that, and then that, that did it, okay? Now, I'm going to take this and do this, even it out here. I'm going to take my pen and draw a line, like so. Now what I'm going to do 
is go a little bit past the line there. Let's see. Like so. Move that piece out. Come here. Do the same thing here. Just a little past the line. Okay. Then take it. Fold it over. Find your page. Let's fold the page over. Like so. And then I can see it's a little bit off. So we're going to trim like so. Let's move this out of the way for now. Okay, so we have this page. We have to redo this. Like this. Even it out. Put your line there. And we can take both of these pages here at the same time. And trim them down. What I like to do is have my fingers set like this with my my scissors on top of my fingers. Cut, move the scissors, move my fingers. Like so. And we have that. So we have those pages done. Then, I'm going to take this piece and do the same thing. We have this here. This one I can make two pages out of. So, I'm going to do this. Line up this here. Even it out. Put the little quilt clip on the end here. Draw my line. There and there. Okay. And then move it down here, which is going to be too short. So, what I'm going to do is take all my pages. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut this way. And I like to sit my blade in the middle and then cut. Okay. And then we'll take this. This one's not too straight here. So I'm going to trim a little. Like so. And turn it. And put it to the line here. Even it out. And that's just where I want it. Whoops. Slip of the finger there. And there we go. That's all set. So, do we have enough with this one to make one more? Yeah, it's going to be a little bit short, but that's all right. That's done. I'm going to trim it, make it even. Like so. And we have this page we can fold in half. And it's still a little off, so I'm going to trim that little piece that's off. Then, we're going to take all our little pages here, okay, gather them all together, like so. Get one of our other pages that we have cut and even that out clip there and I need one more there we go and a clip here now this has a flat bottom so I can take it let's move all of this out and I can do it just like so and it'll butt right up to the clip here and that lets me know that's where you stop And then this is okay here. I'm just going to trim this off. 
and then trim some of the bottom off. Like so. Now again, I'm going to take my scissors, trim that little edge off here, like that, and then trim all the excess here. My quill clips will help me hold the paper in place. So, put that up, take all this, put in a recycle bin. Now, let's put this all together. Okay, whoops, not that. So what we're gonna do, we have our plastic, our cardboard here. I'm gonna take one piece of paper, like so. Put it in, fold it over. I'm gonna have to trim that over a little bit. But that's all right. I want the cover bigger than my actual pages. Okay, then we're gonna take one of these Put that in. You see, I still need to trim it. So I'm going to put my fingers at the bottom and trim that. Push that all to the side. Take another page. Put it in. No overhang. Don't need to trim. Okay. Take another piece of this one. And then we're going to do that. I'm going to do two of this one now, and then one of this one, fold it over, any overhang, just grab your scissors, make sure you even it out, get your clip, have your clip help you hold the pages in, you know, in sync, so there we go, and then we take more pages. I'm going to do two pages this time. Put that in there. Put this here. Close it. It's fine to... Oops, wait a minute. Now I'm going to take our clip. You want all overhang to be trimmed off as much as you can trim off. Okay. Then, open it back up. Page, page. Then you put this one and two more pages. Okay. Then close it up. Squeeze that all in there. Get your quilt clips. Let them help you hold the book together. And trim all that excess. Okay. So now we want to sew this. And I have a piece of thread here already on my needle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is open this up like so. Okay, quilt clip on this side and clip on this side. And what I'm gonna do, go down the middle and I'm gonna punch my hole. Oh, this one's really hard to do. Let me see. I'm just looking for my pick here, or I can use this one here. Nope, that's a crochet hook. Oh, that's a flash line. I'm going to use this right down the center. Whoa.
so. You can put that in your junk journal. So I thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and comment. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe by hitting that red, big red subscribe button down below. And hit the notification bell to get notified of when I upload new content or when I go live. So, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and comment. And don't forget to get that big old thumbs up, guys. And I'm going to get a drink of water. And um, also, please be kind. Be caring, be blessed, be crafty, be safe, happy crafting on a budget, happy everything on a budget, and I will see you all in the next video and on the flip side. Bye-bye for now.